Watch more programs like this on cable and stream with PCN Select. Subscribe at PCNTV.com. My name is Major General Abner Doubleday. Day three of the battle, as General Gibbon can tell you, involved the attack of Pickett, Trimble, and Pettigrew to the center of the Union line. I am 3rd Division Commander of 1st Corps on day three. You may wonder, how did this come about? At the end of day one, as you know, we retreated back to Cemetery Hill and established a position there under Major General Hancock. When that happened, certain communications got back to General Meade, who didn't like me very much to start that kind of cast dispersions on the efficacy of the First Corps uh, in, in a very unfair way. Because of this, I was relieved by a junior officer, a, a classmate of mine, General Newton, and became, once again, commander of the 3rd Division. Now, you remember, the first day had a great effect on the, on the numbers of the First Corps in general. And in the 3rd Division, we had two brigades that were very much uh, chewed up in the battle of the first day. However, at the end of the first day, I was asked to go assist General Hancock's 2nd Corps and was cut a fresh brigade of Vermonters under the command of Brigadier General George Stannard. They have never seen combat before and they are my 3rd Brigade and obviously my most combat effective brigade at the moment. The Vermonters are actually positioned to the left of the second core position in the center at the angle. We are to their left when the assault known now as Pickett's Charge commences, all of the lines of the Confederate brigades are headed straight from the wood line from which they emerged straight at us. In particular, we had uh, several brigades coming right at where the 13th, 14th, and 16th Vermont regiments were positioned. Due to the effectiveness, I guess, of General Hayes in the center in actually attriting the Confederate attack there and I suppose General Lee's intent that the penetration occur at that point, at the angle, for us it was inexplicable. We had several brigades actually turn, pivot left showing us not only their flank, but in some cases their rear. This gave us an opportunity and we had General Standard actually turn the position of both the 13th and the 16th and actually engage the rear of that column to great effect. In addition, we actually had the 13th attack out into the meadow and, and actually take two of the regiments who are trying to guard and actually destroyed them. So uh, within uh, one hour, we had great effect and the Vermonters in their first combat showed themselves very well and Colonel, uh, General Stannard, a very effective commander.